Hello everyone, Dismus here with a new video. First off, I know some of you are waiting for a new PvP video. I will try to get one out before the next DLC, but I don't have any real ETA to give to you yet. Sorry. Now, before I start sounding too much like Zenimax, let's take a look at the build. First kill. Wait, what? No, no, guys, don't spam bush. The proper use of this skill is moving around and setting up for burst damage. In PvE, you can also use it to stun enemies, meaning you have less enemies hitting you and that helps you survive in BMSA. Vigor. You're simply not going to survive in Master Arena without this passive stamina night blade, and you pretty much need to spam it throughout the arena. Killer's Blade. The only execute available for dual building night blades. It can also be a lifesaver thanks to the heal you get from it if you kill a target with it. Steel Tornado, your main AoE and also useful when kiting enemies, as it affects a big area. And lastly, Surprise Attack. This is your main damage dealing ability and adds some survivability as well with the Shadow Barrier Night Blade passive. As ultimate, I've slotted Soul Harvest here to get more ultimate from Mob Cycle, and it's also useful for single target DPS, mostly boss fights. On the bow bar, I have Relentless Focus. Stamina region helps with sustain, and the extra damage is always welcome. Mirage. Mainly adds some more survivability. If you can figure out how not to die, it could be worth slotting Poison Injection here for boss fights, or maybe Caltrops for the head waves. Third slot, uh, it changes depending on the stage. On data stages, I slot Evil Hunter for extra sustain and damage. On other stages, I keep Shadow Image here for damage debuff on enemies, and also to get health from Dark Vigor Nightblade passive. Fourth slot is Siphoning Attacks. Really important for keeping your stamina up and combos nicely with the fifth skill I have on bow bar, which is Arrow Barrage. It deals really impressive amount of damage, even without the Maelstrom Bow. It deals so good damage, it's worth keeping up even in single target fights. Ticking every half a second, it also combos nicely with Siphoning Attacks, as well as the Briar Heart set, which I'll be talking about later. On ultimate slot here I have Soul Tether, which is a lifesaver on big head waves. It stuns them all and usually heals you to full health as well. You can use it to kind of survive stage 9, Daydrot Firebread for example, should you fail to avoid it. So those are the skills I use. On the gear department I have uh, 5 pieces of Twice Born Star or TBS. So I did some calculations on this set and uh, it turns out that as long as you don't get any outside buffs from other players and you're getting crit from your other set, wearing 5 pieces of TBS should be better than wearing 5 pieces of fundings. I'm using the Thief and Shadow Mundus with TBS. The other set I'm using is 5 pieces of Briar Heart. Again, I did the math on this set, and it's a DPS increase over agility and whatever two other armor pieces you can think of. As long as you can keep over 50% uptime on the Briar Heart effect, which you can with Arrow Barrage and the crit sense this build has. It also adds a little bit of survivability by allowing your crits to heal you, which is a nice extra for this build. I'm using Divine Straight on all the gear and uh, Prismatic Tristat Cleaves. The weapons this build uses are two agility daggers, since it's the best two piece bonus you can get. The reason Maelstrom dual wield weapons aren't an option is because uh, this build does not use rapid strikes, and you can't really enchant Maelstrom weapons, and not having a weapon enchant is just not a good thing. Weapon enchants are weapon damage on main hand and armor penetration on offhand. And I'm also using a Maelstrom bow. Alright, as food I'm using the health and uh, plus stamina region food in the arena. Simply because running out of stamina and or health are big concerns there. As for potions, I use most of the time the standard weapon damage, grit and stamina potions. But on the last boss I also have uh, speed potions with weapon damage and stamina. And they are really useful by the way. 
If you followed this guide up until this point, uh, this is what your unbuffed stats should more or less look like. You may notice that the weapon damage is quite low. This is uh, actually just because you haven't procced uh, Briarheart yet. When you proc Briarheart it goes up by a lot more. And you also have a really high crit sense with this build. As for champion points, this is how I spend them from the best passive to the worst one. And that concludes the video. I hope this guide has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments regarding the build, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.